commissions that you are proposing are up and running, I would imagine that would be an excellent opportunity for public testimony yes. and, a, and place for input. Yes, that, and that is part of the structure of this. The, the, there will be hearings, uh, public testimony, uh, records uh, uh, made available by the departments, and, uh, and besides uh, uh, that, as I, I mentioned to you before, there'll be an opportunity for subpoenas if needed. And it isn't just at the state level. Now, our local governments, our uh, villages, our townships, are struggling with the state mandates and a reduction in uh, uh, the revenue, revenue sharing dollars. That needs to be looked at too. You know, you, we can take as a state and crush our townships and our, our villages and our cities with requirements, but that's not right, mm -hmm. and that needs to be reviewed too. It, it makes sense in 2007 that both the state and local uh, units of government take a look at providing those efficiencies and delivery of services we do. and avoid any duplication that you can. And We've so had over about 50 commissions appointed in the last four years, not a one that dealt with uh, making government more efficient. This one's needed. Absolutely. There's, um, there's been some good news uh, on the budget front, yeah. uh, and you've got some legislation that uh, you've been dealing with on that. Uh, walk us through uh, what uh, that, sure. uh, that proposal would do. Well, in the budget agreements of last year, there were some capital outlay projects to deal with uh, uh, parks and uh, uh, other uh, campgrounds, uh, things of that nature that uh, uh, ended up getting uh, vetoed. And we've uh, uh, brought those back up again and I happily uh, can say that some of the parks uh, in mid-Michigan are going to be uh, addressed. Winona Park in uh, Bay County is uh, going to be addressed. Uh, Senator Barsha had a particular interest in that and uh, uh, helped work on, on that. Uh, we have uh, two parks in uh, Gratiot County, in my district, that are, are going to be uh, helped. One in Ithaca and uh, another one, uh, uh, the Reed uh, uh, Park in uh, southwestern uh, Gratiot County is going to get about a half a million dollars. And hopefully that will uh, help them build uh, pavilions and some day activities. They've got a big lake there, a man-made lake. And, uh, be a chance for playgrounds and campgrounds and picnic areas. And our, uh, if you have some uh, young uh, kids or grandkids, uh, this gives them a place where they can go and enjoy uh, Michigan, Michigan's beauty. I'm Excellent. glad to see that we can do that. Good. How do things look on the rest of the budget front as, as we sit here today? What's, uh, what's the general sense of folks on the Appropriations Committee and each chamber? Yeah. and? How are the negotiations going forward, and what what are you sensing as uh, the weeks well, go along? Well, here? it is a negotiation, uh, that's for sure, with the, the House in one part uh, controlled by one party and the Senate controlled by another party, and the negotiation uh, circles around the two issues of uh, of increase in taxes and streamlining government. Uh, as it looks uh, today, those negotiations uh, of uh, well just really started to get uh, awfully serious. Uh, there was a lot of uh, talk before, but no really set agenda for meeting to get through this. Uh, that agenda has been set. There's going to be a series of meetings that I anticipate around uh, um, the 21st or so of, uh, of August uh, that we will have uh, target numbers for constructing uh, the budget. Now, for our, our viewers here, the target numbers that come over uh, to the Senate and those to the House will construct different documents and then those two have to be reconciled and ultimately signed by the governor. We have a time frame to have a budget for our people of, uh, on October 1 and it's going to be pretty close to October 1 before this. Yeah, the is fiscal done. year here in Michigan begins on October 1st yeah. and ends on September 30th. Yeah. So That's the spending year. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, it, in past years that were difficult, like, like this year, they have uh, had, on at least two occasions that I'm aware of, uh, uh, budget se uh, uh, seasons that didn't end on the fiscal year, October 1. And they had some uh, interim budgets or continuation budgets uh, uh, for a month or two or three while they were trying to work out differences between the House and the Senate and the governor. 
So uh, though I'm hopeful that we'll have this done on October 1, uh, people should understand that there may be a necessity uh, necessity for continuation budgets, at least for some of the departments that we have in the state. They need to weigh in. How do we do this? Do we raise taxes? Or do we streamline government? No. Do we do some of both? The, um, the Senate Republicans have been relatively consistent over the last few months in outlining some reforms that they want, uh, yes. even, even before the commissions go out and look at other ways of yes. streamlining government. You already have some core reforms that you want, what, what would a couple of those be? 